Hi guys and welcome back to my tutorial on making a procedural city. In this part I wanted to show you how you can texture the city using just one shader. As you can see you get pretty decent looking results. I used just 4 images from textures.com. This is a really good site where you can find all sorts of images. You can register for free and get 15 downloads per day. You can also buy credits in which case you get access to higher resolution images. In this case I picked an image from the residential category. First go to preferences, add-ons, and search for import images as planes. Check the tick box and close. Next go to file, import, and import images as planes. And load the texture you downloaded from textures.com. For material settings choose, emit. Change the viewport shading to textured. Go to top view and change the Z location of the plane to a small negative number, to avoid clipping. Add a plane and position on the first window. Go to edit mode and align the vertices to the first window. Go back to object mode and add an array modifier. Change the relative offset to match the windows and adjust the count. Add another array modifier and do the same on the Y axis. Next go to the shader editor and disconnect the image node from the emission shader and set the color to black. Select the window geometry and add a new material. Delete the principal shader and replace it with an emission shader. Set the color to white. Add a camera and change the type to orthographic. Set the orthographic scale to 1. Decrease the clipping start. Press 0 on the pad. And set the Z location to a small positive number. Press F12 to render and save the image. Now that you have done most of the work it is easy to adjust the file for the other textures. Simply delete the plane. Import the next image. Disable the display for camera. Disable the two array modifiers. Adjust the geometry to the new windows.
Enable the first modifier adjust the values accordingly and do the same for the second modifier. Now the same steps as before. Disconnect the texture and I forgot to set the, the material settings to emission, so I have to to do it now. Don't forget to set the, the Z location of the image plane to a small negative value. In the image editor bring up the image to see the, the dimensions and change them in the render settings accordingly. Render out the second image and save. As you can see once you've set up the scene, it's really easy to adjust to the other textures and it's really worth the effort. Open the file you made in the last tutorial. Append the shader, that I provided as download in the description. Set the viewport to rendered, with cycles enabled. Because I'm going to use the geometry node which works only with cycles. As you can see, when you imported the Sorkar node entry it also imported four materials. One for the base, for the walls, one for the boundary of the roof and one for the rooftop. The script also assigned each material to the corresponding geometry. Choose the slot for walls and assign the city shader. Load the first image into the image texture node and the corresponding mask into the second image texture node. With Node Wrangler enabled, you can Control Shift click on the texture node to see the output in the viewport. Now you can adjust the scaling of the texture. Repeat the procedure for the second texture and change the end value of the image switch to 2, which corresponds to the number of textures you want to use. In my case I only used 3 images, but the node has 8 inputs and can also be extended. I use the Atten Gaffer, for which I leave a link in the description, for lighting. In the world settings, enable Hadri and choose an image. In the Atten settings for Gaffer you can can choose a folder with your Hadris which will be available in every scene. As you can see it looks quite nice already. But without reflections in the windows, the textures look stuck on. That's where the masks, I created come in but to use them for the roughness value I have to invert them. For some reasons once inverted the values are not 0 and 1 anymore, so I use a color ramp. Set it to constant and move the right slider to about 0 0.5.
To adjust the reflectivity I add a hue saturation value node to the color input of the BSDF shader and connect the mask output of the image switch to the factor. With the value slider I can darken the window texture, which helps to increase the reflections. With the specular slider you can adjust the strength of the reflections. As you can see it looks a lot more believable. Next I unhide the ground plane and set the roughness to 1 and specular to a low value. Next I am going to to shade the rooftops. But before I have to hide object 1. Which was created by the Sorakar script and which is just the geometry for the rooftops, intended as instance or geometry, in case you want to populate the roofs with, air conditioning and satellite dishes and the like. First choose the material slot for the rooftops and in the shader tab. In the lily surface scraper section. I click on the, the texture haven button which takes me to the site. I choose a plaster shader and copy the link in the browser. Back in Blender I click on import from clipboard button and choose 2K for the resolution. With this texture the tiling is not so obvious, but I prefer to use the Basher node, by Aaron Dale. Which is free to download from his Gumroad page. I append a node from the downloaded file and in the shader editor it can be added from the group nodes. It has a lot of settings which help to hide seams. Finally I scale the image to my liking. To bring more variation to the image I add a mix RGB node and a geometry node and connect the random output to the factor. I set the mix RGB node to multiply and adjust to my liking. So that's it for the second part. I hope you liked it. And if so, please consider liking and subscribing and leave comments if you want. In the next part I will be showing you, how to create masks from the satellite image which are used to populate the scene with trees and different surfaces for grass and water.